Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Yep, it's the World's Most Dangerous Morning Show, The Breakfast Club. Charlamagne the God, Angela Yee. Envy had to step out for a second, but we got some people in the building right now. Uh, Ash Cast, Storm Leroy, and Marvin Mitchell. What's happening, my brothers? Peace, What's peace, peace. I'm um, blessed, black, and highly favored, man. Yes, sir. Good to see you, bro. Now, we always talk about the importance of financial wellness here on The Breakfast Club. So let's go through each of your resumes so we know what uh, each of you do, and we can talk about this whole path to prosperity. Yeah, so I, I am Ash Cash, financial motivator, uh, former banker 15 years, uh, written 12 books, four bestsellers, over 100,000 uh, copies sold, and I just change, you know, help people change their mindset uh, in order to, to, you know, make more money, manage more money, multiply money, um, and just understand that regardless of where you come from, uh, what your 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 circumstances, you could you could you know be, have, and do anything you want in life. And one of the in the top one percent of the bankers in the United States. Absolutely, absolutely. So I, you know, I was a banker for fifteen As years. As a black man. Absolutely, CEO of a credit union, and mm-hmm. I was uh, one of the top uh, bankers in, in in the country. Absolutely, I'm Marvin Mitchell. Uh, what I really do is help people to multiply their money um, by leveraging. And also, um, I'm a Hall of Fame financial advisor myself, mm-hmm. been a Hall of Fame advisor for uh, an advisor for 15 years now. And what I really do is I teach people how to really just not only minimize their taxes, but how to take a dollar and make money five times off the same dollar. Oh, I need to know how to minimize my taxes. I've been working on that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just recycling your money is what it's all about. Right. Yeah. You know, people always say that's a myth. Uh, they always say, like, the, what's, what's the, 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 uh, oh, this. The, the study that they say that a black dollar only stays in the black community for a certain amount of time. For six hours. Exactly. That's what they yeah. say. But people say that's a myth. That's never been a real study done. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. I think I think what happens is that, it, you know, we, we like to attach ourselves to things that are sensational. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't think that, you know, I think in, in certain communities, yes, right, mm-hmm. where the money comes in and it's being spent before it even goes out. Um, but the truth of the matter is that there are a lot of us uh, that are doing a lot of great things with money. We're mm-hmm. learning, you know, I mean, we're in the information stage where we're actually learning a lot about financial education, about building wealth and, you know, learning how to, you know, you know, make money and, and keep money in, in, in our generation. So I, I don't think that's a, a real study. You got you. Tell yeah. them about yourself, Storm Leroy. You got that superhero Yo. name. Yes, sir. That's a black superhero name. <laughs> right, Storm right. Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm Storm Leroy, better known as the Employed Millionaire. And what I do is I show people how to take your nine to five, your salary, and um, become a millionaire, which I've done myself. Um, my knowledge and understanding that I give is your job is your first business partner. Once I understood that, I was able to take that salary. I started off working for Verizon, took that salary, became a millionaire by investing that money into out-of-state real estate, something I didn't have to touch, see, manage, or deal with. And I understood the value of what that other market was like by buying those properties in other states, putting that process on repeat, having a team to take care of that property. So I purchased over 34 properties that I'd never actually seen while focusing in on my salary and investing in those properties. So that's what I teach people how to do. And I walked into my job on Instagram Live one day, told them this is my last day here. And you went I went live. live. I went live. I went wow. live. And I had to do it. Angela, you did that too. Yeah. Oh, oh, for I quit right. this bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's what I had to do, you know, to let people know you can do it too. I've seen I've seen some of your stuff before. Somebody showed me a video. It might have been out of context, but I remember it was like a, you were saying a million dollars isn't a lot of money. Yeah, facts. Um, that's not facts, man. No, you don't just say that like that. It's facts. only a million dollars. Only a million dollars. Don't say that. Yeah. It's two levels of that. So, yeah. I love it's two levels of that because after a million dollars, there's tax, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. let's say now you're down to six hundred and sixty-six thousand dollars, mm-hmm. maybe even less. So eat, <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't want to touch that, depending on which state you're in. So now mm-hmm. that million dollars is depleted. So now let's say you go buy your house. And we know how much a house costs, especially oh, in New York. You can't buy a house. So in- now you bought you your primary residence. So mm-hmm. let's say four or 500000 So that money's technically gone. And now you have a mortgage payment that you're paying with your job in a million dollars. But, now don't get me wrong, a million dollars can't do a lot if you have a plan. And also, it's only a million dollars when we say that is because we don't want you to put a ceiling on what right. you can do. Got you. Only a million dollars mean if it takes you a million dollars to get something done, you should not say you would never reach a million dollars. You should say, it's only a million dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me get that million dollars and transform that into 10, 20 million. And then when the objective becomes, I need 20 million dollars to do something, guess what your mind is going to say? Come on, Angela, what's it going to say? It's only... 20 million. There we, <laughs> there go. we go. I'm with you. I'm with you. But so, in, a, in, a, in a country where two-thirds of the people can't even, you know, afford their basic needs. Yeah. 
saying a million dollars ain't no money is right. like, nigga, what? Yeah. Right, 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 <laughs> but it's right, right. a mindset thing. Right. Because if your mind is taught that a million dollars is a lot of money, when you get a million dollars, you're going to stop trying. So the objective is to make sure your mind is always going beyond. Like for me, I give the example of how I took my first property out of state, mm -hmm. which was a $40,000 property with an $8,000 down payment, making $6,000 a year. I was making an 80% return on my money. And I said, man, you mean all I got to do is keep doing this thing? If it's making 6,000 a year, I'm making 60,000 a year. I just need 10 properties to walk away from my job. Now, I bought a property in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I bought that property for $350,000 over 20 years ago. That property is worth $2 million. Mm -hmm. Sounds mm -hmm. like a lot, but guess what? It took over 20 years for it to be worth over $2 million, mm -hmm. and I'm still only collecting enough rent to pay for a mortgage that was a hundreds of thousand dollars a mortgage. So when people hear the stories about, yeah, he owns a brownstone, she owns a brownstone for four or five million, that person still is not wealthy. You know why? Because they can't walk in a bank to pull out a $4 million line of credit on that property because their salary doesn't dictate them being able to pay it. So the money is in the walls, mm -hmm. you know? So that's the thing about owning a brownstone. That's worth millions of dollars. And putting a cap on your thoughts and limitations on what you can do it's only a million dollars. Well, let's go back to the beginning. That's why I'm glad you're here because we got to tell people, you know, how to even get to that point. I, yes, I want to get to the point where I'm Storm Leroy and right, I say right, right, only right. a million dollars. So, and, for, and Marvin, I do want to point out as a financial planner, a lot of people feel like in order to get a financial planner, you should be rich, right? right? The only right. reason that you need that is because you got a lot of money. I Let's say I only make $40,000 a year. Why do I need a financial planner? Can you talk about that? Well, I will say that the, the traditional financial system will lead you to believe that you have to have a lot of money um, to get something done. But in reality, most financial advisors are actually broke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Most financial advisors don't have money themselves, and they come from an educational system that don't really teach people how to make a lot of money. So uh, what, I, what I teach people is that no matter where you're starting from, like, you know, you can, you can invest, right? You can look at different stocks and different, different investments. But what I also show people is that if you follow the traditional system, in my opinion, where Social Security should, will, will be ran out by 2034, according to the General Admission Fund, mm -hmm. uh, Administration Fund, unless they make some changes, pension is going away, that the tra traditional system of saving will lead people to failing. 76% of people statistically run out of money anyway. So if you keep doing the same thing, it's going to get even worse. So... I have a whole new blueprint to show people starting from anywhere how they can actually become financially successful where it doesn't have to be an either or, which means it doesn't have to be I live poor now so that I can live rich later, right? It can be that I can spend the money that I want to spend now and enjoy my life now, and I can enjoy my life later. And I do that through a tool that, that, that wealthy individuals have been, have been using for centuries, right? And that's actually life insurance. Mm -hmm. So I make life insurance become a want. And not just a need. Like when you think about needing life insurance, um, you, you're thinking about like, I need life insurance because I don't want to go fund me or I don't want to fry chicken or bury somebody. Well, when you think about it as a need, well, now you're thinking about getting the least amount. But when you think about it as a want, now you want to get the most amount. So why would you want to make life insurance a want when you're building wealth? Well, mm -hmm. first thing I would say is there are ways that you can structure a policy, Charlamagne, where you can actually go in and overfund that policy where most of that money that you put in will go towards your cash value. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why that's important when you're starting off. Instead of the death benefit, you get a death benefit, but most of the money goes toward the cash value. 70% fees are automatically deleted, which means that the, the advisor takes 70% less commission and it goes straight to your cash value. Now what you can do is you can actually build wealth. And when it starts there, guess what? You never have to pay taxes on it again. It's tax deferred. You can borrow from it and leverage it for mm -hmm. things such as real estate and different things like that, where you, where you, where your money will never go down. You never stop the forward momentum of money. Now that you build up that cash value, you can go out and borrow against it. It continues to grow. You can go out and get real estate, like mm -hmm. what Storm just talked about. Now you got your money working for you two times off the same time. And that's how you leverage your money and make it grow faster by having the same dollar work for you twice. Mm. Then you can make it work for you three times uh -oh. by, I'll be hitting with this real quick. <laughs> you can make it work, that same dollar work for you three times, that's what other coaches have been doing, right? Yeah. By saying, okay, I could turn my credit into cash. And instead of me using my credit for debt, why don't I turn it to cash and go out and buy an asset, such as the real estate? Now I have a life insurance policy. Now I can 
that's going to continue to grow, whether I borrow against it or not, tax-free. I can pay off my credit card with that policy from leverage. Now I'm making money off the life insurance mm-hmm. policy tax-free. Now I got the points from the credit card, mm-hmm. and I got the property generating cash flow so I can accelerate my growth 10 times as fast. Now I got three, my money working for me three times. Can I go deeper just one time? <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to go deeper one time. Now I can actually take the property that, that generated equity, and I can actually do a home equity line of credit, and take that money property. out, get another property. Yep. Now I got two properties. I got the points from the credit card, and I got the life insurance. And to cap it all off, if you really want to get spicy, you can actually go out and you can get a trust in an LLC, which will minimize your taxes on that policy to begin with. So now you save money on taxes, and you got your money working for you five times. And that's not hard to set up. Mm. People say, well, does it take millions of dollars to get that started? Yeah, you can dump millions of dollars as long as you do it for at least seven years. But you can actually get started. People can get started with this for as little as like $50, $500 a month yeah. and build it and pay your bills off of leverage money. Yeah. Or, yeah. Who are these broke financial advisors? That's like fat personal training. Like, why <laughs> why would you ever go time. to a broke yeah. financial yeah. advisor? Well, that's the problem. It's, it's, it's like why would people go to the educational system to learn from people who, who make, you know, 40000 50000 to learn how to be a millionaire? Mm-hmm. Same thing for financial advisors. Yeah. The financial advisors, they're making... Um, they're making forty, fifty thousand, seventy thousand dollars on average is what the advisor makes. A lot of them were filed in bankruptcy, so I actually had to leave the industry um, for a certain extent, and I mm-hmm. had to go out and I had to mentor with people who are millionaires and billionaires so that they can teach me. They weren't even trained financial advisors, but they taught me more than the industry ever taught. Me. And, right. and and that's the thing, Charlotte. I mean, a lot of times, like when when you when you think about people who are um, being taught about money. What they're taught is that they have to work hard for money, right? Mm. And so the truth of the matter is that we need to change our relationship with money. Instead of working hard for money, money needs to work hard for you, Mm -hmm. right? And so if you don't come from anything, right? So I'm from the projects in Harlem, right? I grew up in the St. Nicholas projects. So I came from nothing, right? But I worked hard because I didn't have anything. But once I made money, I didn't just spend the money. Mm -hmm. I took that money and I I invested it in income-producing assets, right? And so what Marvin's talking about, what Storm's talking about is like, all right, bet. If you come from zero, if you have zero Mm -hmm. money... All you have to do is stop spending money, right? Because if you spend money, you end money, mm. right? You got to get to the space where you're circulating money, where you say, all right, bet. I got this money. I'm making this money. But instead of stopping the cycle, like you talked about, the the you know the money you know stays in the community six hours, instead of stopping that cycle, you say, all right, you know what? I got this money. All right, I'm going to invest it in something. And now if I invest it in an income-producing assets, like real estate, like life insurance, mm-hmm. like investing, now that money is still there. Even if you put the money in the house and you're renting out the house, that money is still Still there, but now you now you you you've created cash flow, and if you keep doing that over and over again, that's how you get to the million dollars. That's how you start from nothing and you become a millionaire. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So w- with that being said, my focus is always the working class people, yeah. media employee millionaire, because there's so many people out there with a job, and the relationship relationship that we have with our job tends to be the one where we go, I'm tired of this place, I don't want to be here, and that that's an infectious thing. Mm. But the reason why a lot of people feel that way is because we don't create a exit Mm. out of the job yeah when i ask someone i say how many years before you retire and they tell me 20 years 30 years i look back at them and i go you mean to tell me there's nothing you could do between 20 and 30 years you're accepting that number and what we do is we abuse the fact that we're getting paid this money and what we do is look at it as i'm only going to pay bills with it when a job already had a plan with you they said i'm going to underpay you for you to overperform but all you said was and in return, I'm going to pay my bills. Right, mm-hmm. and try to save money. And try to save <laughs> right. money. Right. Now, the objective for, for me is, well, I give people realistic things that you can do with money. If you were to say, I want to save $100 a week, $100 a week, that's $5,200 a year. Then there's some of the most undervalued money that we make, which is our tax return. We get our tax return and say, it's ball out time. <laughs> I'm buying a watch. I'm buying a car. I'm taking a trip. <laughs> then you take the trip, come back to work, and you say, it felt like I never left. Mm-hmm. Let's say the average tax return is about $6,000. You saved $100 a week, so that's 52 plus the six. That's $11,200. I just told you how I bought my first property with $8,000 mm-hmm. out of state, and that property is what made me rich mm-hmm. because it showed me the value of percentages and how I can do something and keep putting it on repeat. 
compete. So now once you get that property and now you get another one and another one and next year you buy two, you buy three, you buy four, you're actually designing a pattern where now you need a minimum amount of money to cause the biggest amount of impact. And what I also teach my mentees is about group economics. Mm -hmm. We must learn to now partner our money together yep. to do sure. these things yes, to escape sure. out of the system of what we feel, what we know is that work cycle. We go to school, we learn, we have bell, mm -hmm. we go to lunch, we eat lunch, we have bell, we go back to class. Then we graduate, get a job, go to work, have a bell, go eat lunch, bell's over, we go back to work. Right. So we must break that cycle. It's all in the mindset of where you think about what you think about your job and your salary. Your job is your first business partner. Yep. Partner work with people, spread that infectious thing, buy you a couple of properties. If you if you got 50,000 and you wanna buy three properties, if I got 50, I wanna buy three, Angela got 50, she went about three. If we all just partner together, that's mm. nine properties a piece mm. instead of three individually. Mm. Why does that matter? Because now you're growing equity mm. on nine different properties all over the state. Now you're doing taxes on nine different properties instead of the three. And now we're doing LLC structures that make a big difference. You have your LLC. For me, I teach a structure called a three must have LLCs. One is the acquisition where you buy properties in that LLC. You buy all your properties in that LLC. Right. Well, that sounds risky. What do I do? Now you get a second LLC, which I call the holding LLC. You transfer those properties into the holding LLC to minimize your risk on the acquisition. And now that holding LLC is in an anonymity state. That'd be Nevada, New Mexico, um, hmm. Delaware, Wyoming. And the reason why that's important, because we hear about holding LLCs and rich people use them. We can do the same thing. Just because you have an LLC, you're protected, but if someone looks up your LLC and says, "That's you," mm -hmm. right? There you go. That's now right. you get hit with a civil lawsuit. That's right, especially an especially an if you're somebody. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Facts, facts, but yeah. in an amenity state, it's hidden. Mm -hmm. But now here's the other gym. I'm gonna drop this. I need y'all to a pick lot this of sauce. Up. A lot of sauce. I need y'all right. to pick this up. But now you have a property in the LLC. You transfer it to the holding, but now you're collecting rent. Where does the rent go? It goes in that third LLC called a property management LLC because you're separating your money with a property management LLC set up in the states you live in because you're going to be doing taxes on that LLC. And why is that important? Because if someone slips and falls in front of your property, it's protected in the holding because it's anonymity. Your acquisition LLC is protected because the property is not in there. And now, if the they freeze, mm -hmm. Angela, talk okay. to me. <laughs> no, this yeah. is all in. You feel me? It's a but learning. You got it though, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I understand. So now it. the money is protected. I have not done that yet, yet but now right. that you it's, just it's said time. it, you cannot hear it. You can't hear it. You can't hear it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the power of that. Angela, we we we've been taught to um to work, 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 get paid. You know, work, 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 get paid. And all we would want to do as a group, we want to show people that you can flip that where you can actually work, get paid, get, get paid, paid, get, get paid, paid, get paid, get paid. <laughs> get paid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Work, get paid, get paid. And you got to build something that's going to bring you, build you an asset where you can earn residual passive income. So I'd say, well, what is your freedom score? Like, when do you want to retire? Like, and when I say retire, I don't mean stop working. I mean, when do you have the choice where if you want to leave your job, you could, but you mm -hmm. choose to stay maybe because you want to, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm making $6,000 a month, all I got to do is figure out how to make $6,000, $7,000 passive. Mm -hmm. Now I got the freedom to decide, you know, if I want to work. And that's mm -hmm. really what it's all about. That's all we're doing and when we're building this. So when we leverage and we do the things that we're supposed to do, like we could do something called luxury arbitrage. Mm -hmm. I used to think that I had to live poor. I used to think that I had to drive an old car and live in a small house. Now I have a Range Rover and I have a Lambo that actually makes me money. And I actually have a $2 million house that makes me $30,000 a month. Because I'm able to leverage it from my life insurance policy. I'm making money for the life insurance policy. I don't even live in the house that I bought for $2 million Because why? When I can rent it out and it can, it can make me like $2,000 a day. Mm. It don't make sense. So it's just thinking smarter instead of thinking that you have to live a life of struggle. Because if you live a life where you think you have to be a saver and you have to spare every single dollar that you have... Guess what happens? You don't get out of that mentality. So you can be sitting in a bank. You can have $3 million, $4 million, $5 million sitting in the bank, and your mindset won't allow you to spend because you will still be stuck with that same scarcity mindset. And what we believe as a group is that abundance is our birthright, and we collaborate. And, and Ash can kind of talk about, like, we yeah. didn't do together. We did okay. I mean, by Sorry, ourselves, we did yeah. okay. But when we came together, we did something powerful. Y'all yeah, yeah. like the TGT of financial empowerment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I like that, too. Now, Ash, let's talk bro. about That's this um, yeah. three pillars to the path of the path to prosperity. Yeah, so the, the three pillars of the path to prosperity is really about um, how do you make more money, 
Um, how do you manage that money, mm-hmm. and then how you multiply that money, mm-hmm. right? Um, and 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 that's why that's what's important because all of us, like like you know, my shirt says abundance is your birthright, and we believe that that everybody yeah. has it in them already everything they need to live their best life, right? And so if you just tap into who you are at your natural being, you can make you can you can maximize your full potential and make money, right? But once you make that money, how do you manage that money, right? How do you manage it in a way that Storm talks about? How do you manage it in a way that I talk about? How do you manage it in a way that Marvin talks about? And then once you start to manage that money and you're realizing that you do have enough and that you can, you know, and is better than or, right? That mm-hmm. you can live in abundance. Now, how do you take that money that you have and multiply it, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's what the wealthy do. The wealthy don't make money and then have to figure out how to make money again. They they, they learn how to make money. And that money makes money. That money makes money, Crazy right? So money. now they make money, they learn how to manage that money the right way, and then once they manage that money the right way, that money's always there for them, and they say, you know what? Let me just, you know, let me just multiply it. Like Marvin says, right? Make money babies, right? Your, your <laughs> money should be making babies for right, you. Right. Um, and, and, and that's the three pillars of the uh, path to prosperity. I want to ask y'all, what do you, what do you think uh, people that are going to receive the student loan forgiveness, what do you think they should do their money ah man i think i think people who um are receiving that money should definitely tap into our five-day challenge um and 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 let us teach you for five days um how to how to do exactly that right because what's going to happen is um you know i know a lot of people are thinking like oh you know what i'm gonna get this ten thousand dollars i got this credit card bill or i have this this you know i want to be able to you know pay down or whatever they want to pay down what happens is um if they take that money and they pay a bill then that's it that's the end of that money Mm -hmm. but Storm just gave you a whole play on how he got his first property at eight thousand dollars out of yeah. out of town. And, and, and one of the things that I, that I want you to understand what and why Storm is so important is because he's teaching you how to do it right. Like like New York, is, you know, it's a it, it's a high cost of living. Yeah. And so you can't get a property. I in New tell York. people that all the time when yeah. they're trying to buy their first property. I'm like, you might not be able to buy Facts. something in yeah. New York. Why don't you go look someplace exactly. else? Exactly. You can get yeah. cheaper real estate and you can flip that or you can rent it out. Right. That, that also was years ago though. I mean, I, I, you're right, but I, it's just gonna be hard to find property for eight thousand dollars. Oh. Uh oh, that's not true. Uh oh, that's not true. Twenty thousand dollars is the down payment. Mm. How long ago was that though? I started 2015, but I'm teaching now mentees who are Mm -hmm. uh, actually this week they're making their phone calls to to the realtors. I teach them to make the phone calls, find the properties inside my mentorship because I don't believe in giving you the knowledge and letting you figure it out. Mm -hmm. I want you to figure it out in my class. Actually, make the calls, and they're buying properties now for forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollar property, twenty percent down, is still only sixteen. Oh, that's the down payment. Yes, yeah, okay, okay. Down payment. Gotcha, 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 I also yeah. suggest people get your real estate license too because yeah. I actually took all the classes. I'm going to take the test to get my license, mm-hmm. but you get a lot of access. Right. Yeah. You know, but right. that people don't and, get and to what's available. Mm-hmm. And, and, yeah. and, and that's the thing, right? So now if, if if you're like, you know, Storm has a system where if you're buying property out of state, right, that's your down payment. But think about that. If you said, I'm going to take that $10,000 and I'm going to pay a debt, credit card debt, it's done. Mm-hmm. Right. But if you take that and you take it and you put, you know, put it in a, in a down payment to mm-hmm. a house, that's cash flowing already. Right. I ain't going to give you too much sauce, but right. It, it, it's, it's cash flowing already. So now that $10,000 is still $10,000 because it's your down payment. Now that down payment is equity in that house that you own mm. and then each month if it's tenant occupied and the person is paying rent now you have that cash flow yep. and so that's what I would say you know mm-hmm. so, one, one of the plays that, that people could use with that 10000 mm-hmm. so bouncing off of that and I know we, we got to tell you about the challenge but um, coming back to that like what you just said about the $10,000 right yeah. you just gave a perfect, um, perfect illustration there's really three types of people when it comes to money you have a debtor you have a saver and then you have the wealth creator the debtor, that's the person that they're going to take that $10,000. They're going to find a way to be in a worse financial mm-hmm. situation than they was before they got it. Right. I know buy- people who are like, I'm already in debt. It's over. I right. yeah, yeah, they, I might as well just. I can't get out the rent race. I might as well go deeper into it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going but to you, Turks. Right, right. <laughs> With that Instagram picture by that rusty book. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you got the saver. The saver's going to say, well, I'm just going to save this. T- I'm going to put it in a bank, yeah. right? Not realizing that they're losing money due to inflation. It's not doing anything for them. Uh, and then when they do finally spend it, like you ain't going to recoup that money. Like you said, it's mm-hmm. gone and lost forever. But what I want to do is I want to show people, we all want to show people how to be a wealth creator, right? How can you take that $10,000, for example, how can you put it into a place where you know it's going to multiply, where that money never goes backwards and it never goes forward? And that's really what we're talking about on this challenge. How can we take you from where you are now to millionaire status? How can we give you the blueprint? How can we give you a step-by-step-by-step guide over five days, and it's all virtual. So mm-hmm. I don't care where you are. You can log in. If you can log into Zoom, you can join this challenge. If you have Facebook, you can join this challenge. And with this challenge, we 
We taking you from, from, the, from the real estate blueprint to the ortho blueprint where you can make 15 streams of income to becoming your own bank and leveraging your money. We're going to show you all that in five days. And we got a couple of special guests. And uh, we got Grant Cardone coming on Ooh, as a special. Cardone. Yeah, Grant Cardone yeah, coming on to yeah, talk to yeah. you about how can you use debt to make you rich? How can you how can you use it as leverage? And, and, and we got two different opportunities, right? For some people, they're going to say, look, I just want to get in the room. And, and I don't really need to, to ask any questions to get any deeper understanding. That's fine. We got something for you. Um, for Breakfast Club um, listeners, only $97, right? And, and we got a VIP. Now, the VIP, that's crazy because we, we normally charge $297, which is still crazy, but we're actually doing $100 off for Breakfast Club listeners where they can go in and they can actually have Q&A with us directly. Mm -hmm. And every day we're, we're actually answering their questions and helping them to get to that path quicker and giving them a blueprint where when you leave, you're going to get 50 times the value of it. So, um you can you can actually go listen. I mean, get that information right now and actually take advantage of that discount by going to wealthdomination.com. That's mm -hmm. on wealthdomination.com, and we got it. Do we have a uh, special where, code or something? Um, actually, we made that site simply for you. Oh, for that's breakfast club yeah, listeners. For breakfast club listeners, you will see it. You will see it. So it's just yeah. wealthdomination.com. And you can go ahead and sign up. And when you do, we'll know you came from Breakfast Club. And, and, and one thing I'll say, though, right, is important to get in, in rooms, right? Because, again, like, um, none of us came from money. None of us, you know, had any special privileges. Um, what happened was, as we started to, to learn this information, right, for me, you know, as a banker, I was managing money for wealthy. And, I, look, I was one of those broke bankers. <laughs> like, yeah, you, right? uh, I was one of the broke true. bankers because, yeah. you know, I was just, you know, just starting out. I'm managing money for multimillionaires. I'm just doing what the bank told me to do. So I'm learning, you know, I'm, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I don't, you know, I, I'm, I understand money, but I'm not doing what I'm teaching. And being told growing up that you ain't ish, you exactly, ain't never going to have right. any money. Exactly. And so, I, and so and, and, and I'm glad you said that because I, you, you know, I've been in a, I, I was, I started being a bank at 19 years old. I was making six figures in my twenties, but guess mm. what? Because I was told I wasn't going to be ish. I was you like I I would I would use that money and and and, and flaunt it right I would mm -hmm. buy I had cars I had clothes so I was still making six figures living paycheck to paycheck so it it wasn't the money it wasn't that I I, I wasn't making the, the money mentality. it was the mentality it was my mm -hmm. mindset so. I didn't have the right mindset and then when I started hanging out with multi millionaires and they started teaching me what they really do with their money I'm like oh I don't. I don't need this car, or if I'm gonna get the car, I'm not gonna use my physical labor to buy the car, right? I'm going to take the money, buy a income producing asset. That yeah. asset is what's gonna pay for the car, that's gonna pay for the house, right? And so, you know, get in the room, stop listening, to your your broke friends, stop <laughs> listening to the to the friends that look like they got it because the, even the, even the friends that look like they got it are probably living paycheck to paycheck as well, and they are one mistake away from being poor. So mm. get in the room with multi millionaires yeah. who are going to teach you the game the right way, so that way you could know that it doesn't take is is not rocket science. You just have to have the right science, the right information to get to that next level. So it's all about the information. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What, what's the website again? Uh, that is a uh, wealth domination. Dot com mm -hmm. wealthdomination.com you go there we got it again specifically for breakfast club listeners so you'll be able to see all that when you go on there and sign up for the challenge by the way it's september the 26th through the 30th so it starts on a monday september 26th through september the 30th so okay. you really don't want to miss it it's going to be crazy last time we did it uh we changed we had about 850 people in there or so we changed so many lives yeah. it's crazy like we we've helped people we just got a, um, a message from a, one of our mentees rosa shout out to rosa just said oh my god i just made ten thousand dollars in one day one day from following yeah. the information that we got one of our mentees greg mary he came out and said man i've been doing this like it's only been what two months he said he made a hundred thousand dollars in a week when he yeah. made a hundred thousand all last year yeah we show you how so, to make money uh immediately in a, in a pace where you feel like you're paying for, you know, you pay for this mentorship, you got to take these courses. Mm -hmm. But once you get to the end, you start making money. Right. No, we show you how to make money. During that time. During, During that time, time you're be, with us. Being who you are, though, yes, right? Exactly. Being who you are already. Yeah. Start making money at that point. Yeah. And the key thing that I want people to really take away from this is we're giving you valuable information for you. But I always say this, and I'm going to repeat this every day. We're not speaking to you. We're talking to your legacy. Mm -hmm. we use, we're using you as a vessel to talk to your legacy because that's yeah. what this is about. Yeah. 
The information you get, you need to sit down with your family. You need to sit down with your wife, your husband, your children, because these valuable secrets we give in to you should never die with you. Yeah. You should yeah. always understand, don't keep the keys, the combination to the safe for yourself, because when you die with that plan, now you're leaving them to figure this out. Yeah. So definitely gain this information, share it with your family. These five days you spend with us, you think this interview was something. There's so many plays and games that we're still holding on and saving because we love to give value. Yeah. That's what this is about. Knowledge is the one thing that you can continue continuously give away and never run out of. So mm. why are we holding it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why would we dare hoard knowledge? Mm -hmm. So I look forward to seeing everybody in there. You have everybody your uh, individual like Instagrams and Twitters if Absolutely. you want to follow you. Uh, you can reach out to me um, Marvin at Marvin Mitchell Official. That's Marvin Mitchell Official. But be careful, y'all. No dots, no <laughs> slashes. There's so many fake Instagram accounts out there. Just Marvin Mitchell Official. Uh, you go. You can go to my website, IamAshCash.com. Follow me on all social media platforms at IamAshCash. And make sure you listen to a uh, watch Inside the Vault. Inside the Vault, <laughs> the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Fashion out to my guys at EYL. EYL, what's happening? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Down. And for me, you can find me on Instagram at I am Storm Leroy. You'll find everything about me there. Start from there. That's right. It's Ash Cast, Storm Leroy, and Marvin Mitchell. Thank you for joining us, brother. Absolutely. Appreciate Thank you, you, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Thank you.